Town Hall confirms what News 8 learned last week, that the town of East Haven is getting a new police chief. And when you talk to some people here, they are ready for this whole business, not to mention the media, to just finally go away. Here's to East Haven, okay? Go to another place. <laughs> The East Haven bashing is getting old for some longtime taxpayers who are still proud to call this place home. I like people. I have no prejudice. I, I welcome anyone. And I feel very bad that our town has this, come to have this name because we aren't bad people. Marie Strito was referring to the recent controversy surrounding the East Haven Police Department as well as the now infamous taco comment to uttered to by Mayor That's Joseph Paturo. Sure. But with confirmation coming Monday that former Stanford Police Chief Brent Larrabee will be sworn in tomorrow, Marie and other East Haven residents are hoping the wave of criticism will begin to subside. I'm stories tired of all the stories that the media is putting out. I think if they let us alone for a little while, we might get so. Get your sights off of East Haven. You're tired. Yeah, we're tired of it. I'm sure in this world there's more things that are worse than East Haven. But headlines were made for a reason. FBI agents arrested four officers last month on criminal charges. They violated Latinos' rights through false arrests. Soon after, longtime Chief Leonard Gallo retired. He's believed to be co-conspirator number one in the federal affidavit. He just has to get group of people together and get all their ideas. That's Marie's advice for new Chief Larrabee, who comes to the department with additional chief experience in Framingham, Massachusetts. Meanwhile, those who have lived through peaks and valleys here are hoping to hear of the trials and tribulations of some other town. I'm not going to say I'm not from this town the way some people say, oh, no, I'm from Brantford. I do like Brantford, but I still love East Haven. So it becomes official on Tuesday at the Hageman Memorial Library. That's when a news conference, a brief news conference, will be held at 11 a.m. And, of course, News 8 will be there. On the scene in East Haven, Jamie Muro, News 8.